So we recently did an update to our kitchen and we actually have room in our drawers for all of our utensils, which we've never had before. So much room. So many drawers. So many drawers. So we were looking on Maker World to see what we could use to OCD these drawers up a little bit because I love it. So organization, organization it is key. Um, so we did find these Ultimate Gridfinity drawer, utensil drawer organizers online and we did a set up for utensils and then we did another set in our other drawer for a knife block and various utensils, various. can openers and whatnots, thermometers. Today we're going to walk you through the steps we took to find these lovely prints and to print them out and also yeah, put them It is a little bit of an endeavor, but once you do it, it's great to have. I will admit that it was my idea, but I let my husband do all the hard work. <laughs> and he did a great job. So we'll be showing you the steps we took and then ultimately how it turned out. So let's get into it. To save you some time and confusion due to the vast amount of Gridfinity downloads, these are the files that we used. First, you'll need a grid interlocking base plate system called GRIPS to stack on your Finity organizers. It will also help to measure the dimensions of the drawer you're working to organize. You will also find links to the Maker World models down below in the description. Just so you can see it in action, since each block is 42 millimeters squared, let's test it out. In order to get just two grids, you should be able to just enter 84 millimeters by 42 millimeters, and then you'll see how easy it is to customize your project. And sure enough, here we have two, and now you can make whatever size you need. If the print is too large for your print bed, it will break them down to form separate build plates. If you need a 420 millimeter by 420 millimeter, which is obviously 10 grid squares wide and tall, you should get four plates. Et voila, four evenly spaced grids. But what if they tend to be a bit odd shaped? We will enter 462 to give us one more across and now it will separate them on six plates versus four and then you can fit them together once printed and you can move on to picking your arrangements of containers, dividers, and blocks. Picking your containers is fun, and once they're all in place, you don't have to worry about slipping and sliding utensils or whatever you're organizing. Your stuff will have a neat and tidy place that you can access at any time. If you had odd empty blocks, you just slip a single 42 millimeter piece and cover those gaps for a cleaner look. There are so many different configurations that are pre-made, such as the popular Alec drawer from Ikea, which just might be a future project. In this particular project, the models we used were a mixture of legacy knife blocks and ultimate kitchen drawer organizers. The beauty of Gridfinity is you can always make tweaks and adjustments to suit your inventory. Very cool. What would you design yours for? As always, thanks so much for watching. Let us know below if you have any suggestions, comments, if you have printed any Gridfinity models and if you like them or don't. Two down, seven to go. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We'll see you in the next video. See y'all. Thanks.